Good day to Presidente, thank you to Mr. Macagliano, thank you to Mr. Russo. Good day to everybody, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a great pleasure to be here and to be here as a sponsor for this wonderful session here. It's in this the historic center of leather in Milan on the occasion of the World Leather Congress. On behalf of APLF and the group of trade fairs, we are delighted to have been invited and to be participating here. For me personally, it's always like coming home. Here in Italy with wonderful, special, talented people who have the best of everything. Food, wine, fashion, architecture, history, film, books, and outside a stunningly beautiful countryside. No wonder the World Expo is so successful here in Italia this year. Congratulations to Milan. Congratulations to Italy. Buongiorno, signore Presidente. Onorevoli ospiti, signore e signori. Er per me è un grande piacere essere qui nella storica città di Milano in occasione del World Leather Congress. Al nome di APLF Group siamo lieti di essere stati invitati a partecipare. Per me, personalmente, ogni volta che torno in Italia è come tornare a casa, dove ci sono persone speciali che esprimono il loro grande talento in tutto. Cibo, vino, moda, architettura, storia, cinema, libri, in un passaggio straordinariamente bello. Non mi sorprende che il World Expo quest'anno stia avendo così tanto successo qui in Italia. Congratulazioni Milano, congratulazioni Italia. Anche se l'italiano è una lingua che conosco abbastanza bene, preferirei continuare in inglese per la platea globale presente qui oggi. Vi ringrazio per le attenzioni e per le veci ospitati nella vostra meravigliosa città. Apologies, but I will carry on in English. Just as the Congress is a platform for discussion by industry leaders and experts where opinions and facts and figures about the leather industry can be presented and hopefully deciphered, our trade fairs are also a platform for the industry. But a platform in what sense? The platform of APLF MMT provides is a marketing and commercial platform that reflects the state of the leather sector on a global basis at any given time. Industry participants meet in Hong Kong on an annual basis to do business, collect information, consolidate business relationships, and make new ones and attend the many seminars and trend fashion events that make APLF a complete event. The trade fair covers the whole leather supply chain incorporating design and fashion right through the manufacturing process to the end product that has to be branded, marketed and sold. No one would dispute that the World Leather Congress taking place in Milan today is also an integral part of the leather industry. By the same token, after 32 years serving the industry, we are confident in our belief that APLF MNT or the Hong Kong Fair, as it's often known, is also an important cog in the marketing and commercial machinery that allows the leather industry to function across countries and continents. In other words, the leather business is a people business, and APLF there is to bring people together. This point is illustrated by the number of buyers that have passed through or exhibited at our trade fair in Hong Kong and Shanghai since 19. 94. And over the last 22 years, there have been a total of 53,412 exhibitors who have been visited by 1,161,347 buyers from literally hundreds of countries, confirming the fact that the leather industry is truly a global business. With Hong Kong being the gateway to the markets of mainland China, APLF has always had its finger on the pulse of the dynamic China leather industry. And recognizing its growing importance in the world leather sector, APLF teamed up with the China Leather Industry Association, the CLIA. 
China's only officially acknowledged body representing the leather industry there, in 1998 to launch the All China Leather Exhibition. And ACLE is directed primarily at the China leather sector, and the fair offers the opportunity for domestic exhibitors not only to meet domestic buyers, but also for both these groups to come into contact and to do business with international exhibitors. Returning to the present, we are aware that 2015 has not been an easy year for the whole industry, with a fall in demand after the sustained bull market in prices that the industry experienced from mid-19-2009. And high prices have declined substantially since their peak one year ago, reflecting not only the recessionary fallout from the financial crisis triggered in 2008, but also the unwillingness of manufacturers of footwear and leather goods to continue paying over the odds for leather. As a consequence, many have introduced cheaper man-made and synthetic materials into their product lines, taking advantage of a steep fall in crude oil prices. We have no doubts that the demand for leather will pick up again, and that raw material prices have come down, making them more accessible and easing pressure on tannery margins. The world bovine herd is not increasing substantially or rapidly enough. Though there are signs that long and medium term herd rebuilding is underway in the US and Argentina, countries that suffered devastating droughts to their livestock industries. Nonetheless, increased demand for beef in emerging markets will guarantee a steady supply of hides, hopefully at reasonable prices, so as to stabilize activity. Serving the leather industry is a long-term commitment for APLF. For this reason, our trade fair has ridden the ups and downs of the inevitable business cycles that characterize the global economy and the leather industry. Both exhibitors and buyers to our events can rest assured that APLF or the Hong Kong Fair will be there as long as the international leather industry continues to exist. Thank you all for listening to me here today and thank you for letting us be guests in your wonderful city here. And we wish you all a second World Leather Congress. Vi auguriamo un grande successo per questo secondo appuntamento del World Leather Congress. Grazie.